Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to Living Color TV. I'm your host, Alexis Monet. Before we get started, make sure you all hit that like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, everyone. So we all know that Nicki Minaj has been very active. She released her single, Super Freaky Girl, and she also released a Roman edition to the single as well, which is also a remix. She also dropped the music video trailer to Super Freaky Girl, and she also will be co-hosting this year's VMAs while receiving this year's Video Vanguard Award as well. Nicki Minaj is also rumored to perform as well this year, and I'm very excited to see that. Usually when people do receive this award, they perform all of their biggest hits, so I'm wondering what songs Nicki will perform at this year's VMAs. Nicki has also been doing pop-up shows on Queen Radio, which is now on Amazon's app called Amp. And in one of her recent shows, a lot of people were speculating that she was shading Megan Thee Stallion when she was referring to someone drinking too much and not remembering the lies they told, burning bridges, and pretty much just being a social climber within the industry. Now, a lot of people felt like Megan Thee Stallion responded to Nicki in an Instagram post due to her posting the song A Gift and a Curse which is her song off of her album and in the lyrics she's referring to someone feeling themselves and them being on perks. Now we all know that Nicki Minaj does have a song with Beyonce called Feeling Myself and Nicki has been very candid in the past about doing perks within her music. She has also talked about it in her recent live videos as well when people were accusing her about doing other things. Now, do I feel like Megan Thee Stallion was talking about Nicki Minaj in this post? In my opinion, I don't because within these same stories, Megan Thee Stallion was just playing different parts of her album. I can see people making the correlation of the feeling myself line, you must be on the perks because of Nicki Minaj. And it could be the timing of Queen Radio happening, Nicki Minaj throwing subs at somebody and expressing how she felt about people within the industry so i get it and let's be real this is hip-hop this is female rap sometimes artists do throw subs and they talk about their ops and people that they may not like within the industry in their music male artists do it as well so i'm not opposed to people saying they were talking about each other because sometimes they really do be talking about each other and throwing subs and not directing their real intentions but overall they're talking about someone that they don't like and they really want that person to hear what they gotta say but they don't directly at that person or direct it to that person they indirectly say something and a lot of people do it so she could have been she couldn't have been but you let me know how you feel about everything down below. Thanks again for joining me for another video. And until next time, bye.